Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a, another monthly update to Cosmic and there's been a ton of fixes and some changes here and there. So you're going to want to be very, you're, you're just going to want to keep your eyes peeled for when the alpha drops. Having said that, let's quickly jump right in. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make too many videos, actually none, no videos at all because it's been like around 45 degrees Celsius outside for the last two and a half weeks. And that took a toll on me and everybody else. So without wasting further time, let's just dive right in. Okay, so a blog to fix your satisfy, to satisfy your monthly cosmic fixes. I cannot speak because it's uh, almost 1 a.m. And yeah, so we're waiting for the alpha countdown. So they have been fixing to fix your unfulfilled fix for more cosmic with a new cosmic blog. That's okay. That's a, that's a tongue twister right there. You're going to want to practice your speech with that line and here it is so they've been hard at work building out new features polishing up implementations and getting ready to unleash the alpha release of the cosmic desktop environment to the world and here are the updates so first up is mirroring desktop mirroring is nearly finished including cases where resolutions orientations and refresh rates are different than on the displays being mirrored this i think is a monumental thing to be doing because this is really helpful. Sometimes you're just mirroring and you want to have different uh, different refresh rates, different resolutions. These are totally valid things to ask for and seeing them implemented here is just it just makes my day. Next steps include implementing support for display mirroring into cosmic settings and cosmic render, as well as completing further optimizations. All good to see. Now they're also starting they're also building ARM64 packages for Pop! OS 24.04. On a related note, System76 now offers Starling ARM servers. That's pretty good. If you're looking for ARM servers, you know where to find them. For high performance ARM build CI and AI interface inference workloads. And then you have the much coveted Cosmic App Store. So this is, it, I mean, it's not marketing when they say ultra fast. It really is ultra fast. And the ultra fast cosmic app store is nearly implemented. I love it by the way. And all that's left for is the alpha to polish up some, I mean, all that's left for in the alpha is to polish up some of the minor UX changes. So if I just go over to, uh, let me just search for it. Cosmic app. There you go. Cosmic app store. It looks brilliant. Actually, uh, let's just, yeah. Okay. That looks better. And, uh, let's just do that. Okay, yeah, this looks better. So you have explore, create, work. See, it's really fast. Let's just open something, RPCS3. Wow, okay, that looks really good. I think the the lack of animations maybe makes it a little bit faster, make it seem like a little bit faster, but it is actually very fast. Proton Plus, that's instantaneous. Dude, this is, this is really good. I wasn't expecting this when I was reading the article, but now it seems like this is really good. I mean, Screenshots load up instantaneously. There are no screenshots apart from that one. Let's just go to this one. You do have screen. Okay. This is blazing fast. Let's just search for something. Wine. Wow. That is, that's next level speed, man. That is really, really fast. Learn game. Everything is just so snappy. I wasn't expecting this, honestly, when I was reading off the article. This blew my mind. Last time I checked, it, things weren't really working because this is a pre-alpha. I just updated the system uh, before uh, making the video. And by the way, I have a small complaint. Uh, this isn't a complaint because it's alpha, pre-alpha after all. But I was trying to log in through the Cosmic Greeter, which is the default greeter that I have right now. And I know it's pre-alpha, but it just wouldn't let me log in. Like it would ask for my password. I would enter my password and then it would just go blank. Like it would just freeze but it wasn't really frozen because the time would update but then it just wouldn't log me in and i restarted my computer like three to four times and after that it did allow me inside uh not only cosmic but pop os as a whole because i was trying with pop and pop on wayland with the older gnome uh, ui but it just nothing really seemed to work and i am in cosmic finally so i updated the system i'm thankful to have gotten logged in and this looks amazing as you can see i don't need to say this to you and yeah very very amazing 
piece of software. Uh, yeah, Cosmic Store and System76 CEO Carl Richel, amazing man, expressed his amazement at the speed for, of the Cosmic App Store. And to quote him, I have used the terminal to update systems for years, but the Cosmic App Store is just so fast and lays out all the information so well that I find it more efficient to update via the app than the command line. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That is very true. You all saw this along with me. It's just blazing. And then Cosmic Files, so GVFS or the GNOME virtual file system was integrated for handling external storage such as flash drives or network shares. Meanwhile, a new context menu in files navigation has also been added. So this one, let's just uh, go over to file manager and then we can right click and here you can see, open a new tab, open a new window and properties. You can see the properties over here as well. Pretty good. By the way, uh, I'm not sure if the developers are aiming for this, but I would really love to see some shadows behind the windows. Uh, I mean, I can always just turn on the um, the hint, the uh, the active hint, but I really like shadows. I do realize that I'm nobody to ask uh, this from anybody, but if uh, you guys are planning to put shadow, please just let me know. Just a minor thing which would make me happy. It doesn't matter either way. It does not lead to a loss in functionality. Okay, now let's move on to Cosmic Greeter. So Cosmic Greeter has been integrated with Login D, adding the ability to lock the session on an idle timer as well as unlock a suspended session. Cosmic Edit, Cosmic Edit now supports CRLF, so that would be carriage return and uh, line feed, encoded files. So basically Windows uh, supports this one, Windows files, file endings, uh, so line endings rather, uh, encoded files which are commonly used on Windows. Okay, it, it even mentions that. Drag and drop, the ability to drag and drop text and images has now been added to cosmic files, segmented buttons, and the libcosmic navigation menu. A few compositor bugs related to drag and drop were fixed as well, good to see. Copy paste, clipboard support has been implemented for both the launcher and the app library, can't complain there. And then libcosmic, so a general context menu widget has been added to the libcosmic widget library to enable the ability to use context menus anywhere, which is a fantastic thing. Honestly, it's it's not a little thing by any means. Context menus are super helpful. Context menus were also added to the segmented button widget to support right-click menus on elements such as navigation bar buttons. Theming fixes, okay? This is really important because one of the developers contacted uh, me. Uh, he left a comment on my video and he fixed the theme. Actually, I pointed out that there was an issue when you were trying to change from light theme to dark theme over here, uh, desktop, desktop appearance, and this one, like there was a problem, it, it wouldn't change if I picked a different accent color, it wouldn't, and now it does, so I'm super happy they fixed it, and it looks pretty good, as you, as you probably already saw. So, like custom theme, uh, custom light mode themes, we're seeing some errors, for example, certain elements were not receiving an appropriate contrasting color, this was also a problem. While some widgets were not inheriting the correct colors, darker background colors generated even darker containment. Text and buttons in the header weren't all inheriting the user's chosen accent color. This I have faced myself. To help them see the error of their ways, we've made some tweaks, which is really good. If you want to go ahead and read into these, uh, I'll leave a link to this page down below, uh, down below the like button, so make sure you like the video. More themes and appearance improvements, so you have icon themes added to the app library, which is excellent to see. Slider and toggler radii updates, which is really good. Panel corners now match the user's round, slightly round, and square preference. So I have the panel set to actually cover the entirety of the top part of the desktop, uh, because without that, uh, there are glitches in OBS while I'm recording. So. Uh, if you're testing it on your own machine, feel free to do so. I'm not gonna be able to show it, show this to you inside of a uh, recording session, but I have seen it and it does look good. Applet size fixes are also there, which is more welcome. Now you do get more fixes. So now screenshots are working for scale displays. The network applet can now connect to wireless networks that don't require a password. And support for nested pop-ups have been added to the iced SCTK backend of libcosmic, pretty good. Scrolling now respects the axis being scrolled. So for example, a horizontal scroll inside of a larger vertical scroll won't steal the scroll event. That's pretty good. Animation state for cosmic time is now reset when the applet pops up or pop-ups are created. 
compositor fixes. They did fix a couple of memory leaks, including a leak with screen capture buffers, and they fixed an issue that was preventing the compositor from using cursor planes. So yeah, and also how you have the cosmic community. So uh, like a lot of people uh, wrote down code for this. So the community, the Cosmunity, that's, that's a beautiful way to say this, continues to impress with breakneck, breakneck ingenuity for anyone who wishes to join in on the fun of Cosmic App Development. Eduardo has created a GitHub template for creating Cosmic applications. His task manager, Cosmic Tasks, now has an emoji picker list for list icons, which is pretty good, being an avid emoji user myself. The project's new Flatpak manifest means it can be expected on Flathub soon. Another thing which is great to see, so you can use it across all different kinds of Linux operating systems. Meanwhile, Piotr, uh, I'm probably butchering the name, 11 Shaft, uh, it said that needs to be, uh, it needs to be said that his username contains 11 characters, I can see that, made a Cosmic Web App Manager written with love and libcosmic, I believe, the importance of love is more important than <laughs> is more than libcos because all of the people working behind uh, each and every component of Pop OS they just put in so much love behind this. Libcosmic iced and all of these are tools and you take decisions, but at the end of the day, love is what is love is what comes across when you're when somebody's using your software, when somebody's eating a meal you cooked, somebody's reading a letter that you wrote to them, anything. Love ultimately comes across, which is beautiful, which is in the process of being added to Flathub. Again, that's pretty good. This is their um, Piotr's Cosmic Web App Manager. It shows a user with three active web apps, ChatGPT, DuckDuckGo, running in Firefox, as well as Messenger running in the Brave browser. Users can create web apps using a URL and associated title, as well as configure them to open in a browser of their choice in private mode and without a navigation bar. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Title URL, non-standard segments. Web app, you can run this in private mode. Uh-huh. And you can also have a navigation bar and you can create it. So that's pretty good. You have three of them installed over here, like the article mentioned, and that should suffice. Pewter also submitted an improvement to libcosmic to use GNOME's dark theme preference when in a GNOME session. Really, really, really important to do that. And Dominic has created an input sources applet which allows quick access to adjusting keyboard layouts and settings. Pretty good. And there was LFNW, by the way. I saw the live event where they demoed Cosmic. It was super impressive. I watched the entire thing and um, it was pretty good. I do wish Cosmic all the best for its future. I can't wait for the alpha to drop so that I can check it out in all its glory. And until then, until that time comes, I uh, hope you guys stick around. Thanks for supporting my channel and I love you and I'll meet you on the next one. Peace. Peace.